And we begin tonight with that global technology outage. It knocked out just about everything off the grid this morning. Yeah, the outage disrupting everything from flights, banks, hospitals, even media outlets. At the center of today's technology meltdown was the U.S.-based cybersecurity company CrowdStrike. This serves many of the world's largest companies. And this morning, an update that was sent had a software bug in it, causing an issue with all Microsoft operating systems. Here at home, local emergency services were forced to do all computer reporting and tracking by paper, taking steps back into really the pre-internet world. Buffalo City Hall remained open, but warned that service could be delayed for those hoping to do business like paying bills. Hospital systems also impacted, but were told it didn't impact any patient care or operations. Meanwhile, Erie County says any social services or DMV transactions cannot be processed until they get back online. 7 News reporter Eileen Buckley taking a closer look tonight at the impact this outage is having on our local services, starting with the DMV. A tough day if you needed to do any business at the DMV. We've been unable to process any transactions since 7 o'clock this morning when our first office opened. Across the state and right here in Erie County, local auto bureaus were at a standstill due to the global IT outage. I met with Madonna Bishop, deputy clerk at the Erie County Auto Bureau at the Cheektowaga location. From what we're being told with New York State IT is there is a repair that has to be sent to each and every machine across the state, not just New York State DMV, but other departments as well. So if they can't do that as a mass send out, they have to do individual machines, which could take quite some time. So we're at the mercy of the state. So unfortunately, even if you're coming here to the DMV for a license renewal, you won't be able to do that right now. Well, I need to renew my license and it's got to be done next week because I kind of procrastinated. So I came in trying to renew it and obviously I can't do that, so. Nicholas Griffo of Williamsville tells me he knew about the outage, but didn't think it would stall DMV operations. Yeah, it's just crazy to think that, you know, other things are affected just by this IT outage. And from the DMV to area hospitals in the Buffalo Medical Corridor, quick action was taken to make sure patients and staff were safe and cared for during the outage. We're here to serve patients and that was what we we're trying to do as we got through this outage. Kaleida Health operates main hospitals in Buffalo's medical corridor, including Buffalo General, Millard Gates and Oshai Children's Hospital. Spokesman Mike Hughes tells me as soon as they learned of the outage around 3 a.m. Friday, they opened their incident command center to maintain normal operations. But patient care was not interrupted. We're encouraging all of our patients. If you have a surgery schedule, an outpatient visit schedule, a physician visit schedule, still come. We are running normal operations at this time. But Hugh says Kaleida Health is back to normal at all their sites. Roswell Park tells me they experienced technology disruptions, but care was not impacted. Catholic Health reported some communication delays, but all their facilities are open. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.